Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. This is an emergency broadcast. It is approximately 6.30 a.m. October 28th, 2016. Of course, I've done a series of videos no one else is talking about. Nobody else is raising questions about Julian Assange. I think that the October surprise has been revealed. Uh, there's a reason why Julian Assange is missing. There's a reason why he's shown us no proof of life. People have said, hey, Christopher, his internet's cut off. Well, if he doesn't have internet, why can't he show his face at the embassy window to give us proof of life? The answer to that question is, he's either not there or he's being held against as well. And it's very, very obvious. Within the last 24 hours, it's been reported by Russia Today that Assange, this is breaking, claims that crazed Clinton campaign tried to hack WikiLeaks. And he also, also, excuse me, goes on to say that Trump will lose the U.S. election. Yeah, that's right. Not being reported by anybody in alternative media. See, they only selectively pull what they want from WikiLeaks to serve their own narratives. But the WikiLeaker himself, who, by the way, has gone missing and nobody seems want to want to talk about, is also saying explicitly and specifically that Donald Trump will lose. RT Russia Today cites bullshit Buenos Aires video as proof of life. You can see this on my Twitter. And then shows a dated picture of Assange. And what they're citing as his commentary, that, you know, he's not dead, is the bullshit Buenos Aires video that I've already been on several rants about. Again, I asked the question, if Assange's internet is cut off, why can't he show his face at the Ecuadorian embassy window? There's a reason he can't. Check my Twitter feed for up-to-date information. And again, I tweeted here about nine hours ago. Assange predicts Trump will lose, accuses Clinton campaign of trying to hack WikiLeaks. This is a courtesy of Zero Hedge. It says, in an amusing twist, Julian Assange, whose WikiLeaks has now had 20 individual releases of hacked John Podesta emails over the past three weeks, and who has been accused by Hillary Clinton of collaborating with the Russians in an attempt to disrupt and subvert the U.S. electoral process, they've... Uh, cut his internet off supposedly until after the election, even though he supposedly has a bombshell that could end Hillary Clinton for good. Accused the Clinton campaign of attacking the servers used by WikiLeaks. Speaking via telephone at a conference in Argentina on Wednesday, again, the bullshit Buenos Aires video that I've already refuted, RT reported that Assange claimed the daily email release ritual has whipped up a crazed hornet's nest atmosphere in the Hillary Clinton campaign leading them to attack WikiLeaks. Quote, they attacked our servers and attempted hacking attacks, and there is an amazing ongoing campaign where state documents were put in the UN and British court courts to accuse me of being both a Russian spy and a pedophile, he added. Assange's Described, Assange described Ecuador's decision to shut down his internet for the duration of the presidential campaign as a strategic position so that its policy of non-intervention can't be misinterpreted by actors in the U.S. and even domestically in Ecuador. He said he was sympathetic with Ecuador, insisting they face the dilemma of having the U.S. interfere with their elections next year if they appear to interfere with the U.S. elections next month. He also said that he did not agree with Ecuador's decision but did understand it. Now, keep in mind, this is what he supposedly said in the bullshit Buenos Aires videos. I mean, he could have a gun to his head at this point. WikiLeaks will not be affected by the decision, he says, as they do not pub publish from Ecuador, but he still can't show his face. His internet's cut, and he knows that, well, smart people and a good portion of the world is very concerned about his well-being right now, but he still can't show his face out that window. He did, however, reject the idea that WikiLeaks is interfering with the U.S. election, claiming this is not the interference of the electoral process. This is the definition of it for media organizations and, in fact, everyone to publish the truth, which is what we're doing right now here at AMTV, and their opinion about what is occurring. It cannot be a free and informed election unless people are free to inform. He goes on, it will, of course, be spun as interference. If Hillary were to lose, the tables would then be turned, and instead... <clears throat> of Trump slamming the rigged elections. It will be Hillary who will demand a pound of flesh, perhaps liter literally. And he doesn't stop there. He also attacks U.S. TV networks, many of whom he accused of being controlled by, the Clinton, by Clinton supporters. 
And he goes on to say, if there's anything the Podesta emails have revealed, is that he is correct in his assessment. Son goes on and on. He uh, predicts specifically that Trump will lose. Again, no one's, you're not hearing that from anyone, anyone else. It doesn't fit their carefully crafted narrative. Carefully predicts that Trump will lose, saying that the Podesta emails will make no difference to the election result, according to Assange. No difference. Zero. Quote, I don't think there's any chance of Donald Trump winning the election, even with the amazing material we are publishing, because most of the media organizations are strongly aligned with Hillary Clinton. He said, adding the journalists and people who work in the media are predominantly middle class and view Trump as representing what is in their mind, white trash. Let me repeat that. I don't think there's any chance of Donald Trump winning the election. Don't hear anyone talking about that. Again, they're just selectively grabbing whatever information they want from Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. Nobody wants to talk about the fact that he's potentially been compromised and or he's dead at this very moment or being tortured against his will. No one wants to talk about proof of life because they don't care as long as the leaks keep coming. They don't even care if he's got a gun to his head right now. And this is U.S. intelligence speaking and that Hillary Clinton has already gotten to him because she knew that he was going to ruin her and ruin her campaign less than two weeks running up to the November 8th election. Nobody's asking tough questions. Nobody's reporting on it. They're just reporting what they want. I mean, dude, Paul Joseph Watson even did a video, this was like a month or two ago, about the fact that, will Julian Assange be killed? Where's the follow-up? There is none. Is Alex Jones talking about it? Nope, doesn't give a shit because it doesn't fit their carefully constructive narrative of a Donald Trump win and a Donald Trump landslide victory. They're ignoring the actual WikiLeakers himself, who is specifically, explicitly predicting and saying out loud now that none of the leaks he's even put out are going to matter because nobody cares. And I also agree with them. Either he's been turned, he's been flipped, And this is U.S. intelligence speaking through him at this very moment, and he's cut a deal, or it's not him even speaking because he might not even be alive, and or he's just telling the truth. Again, either way, it should be heavily reported on right now. It should be front page at the Drudge Report, front page at Infowars, and front page everywhere else. But it's not. Only here at AMTV. I'm Christopher Green. Get it out everywhere. Make it viral. Hard-hitting and in-your-face. Peace.